About to check my weight in the middle of the day after meals. Not excited to check at this point in the day, but I will. 135 and a half. Seven seconds. This is actually the first Olympics where 55 kilograms is now considered a non-Olympic weight class. So I had to make the decision to either drop down to 53 kilograms or go up to 58 kilograms. But to really change a kilo or two the right way is very hard. What if I make the decision to go down but I don't have enough time to get down and then I miss weight and then I don't even, you know, make the team and all these fears and they're all valid. I wrestled a couple tournaments at both those weights to test out, and I felt that 53 would be the best for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be going from 55 kilograms to 53 kilograms. You might think, oh, that's not that much, it's just five pounds, but cutting weight is extremely hard, especially when 55 was just the perfect weight for me. Here's my grilled bronzes of halibut. I will have to try and lose weight in the smartest, healthiest way possible. I get four ounces of salmon. I'm really not a good cook. I have a nutritionist and I, you know, have a running program and obviously I listen to my coach. But you can plan and you can do the right nutrition and you do everything right. And for whatever reason, your body's just holding on to that last kilo. It's almost like you have to override your body's natural survival response. Maybe to, to go down, it's, it's gotta be all in. And I really have to stay on top of everything, sleep, diet, training. Good job. I swore to myself that I was gonna do whatever it takes to make the 2016 team. And all I can really think of is, I really am scared. I just want a gold medal, so that's my goal. It's been my goal since I was...